What is going on guys? So today is going to be a bit of a bits of video but I'm going to start this video off by uh, showing you the progress on the big uh, carpet, carpet python enclosure. Should probably plan these intros as well. This is the big carpet python enclosure. This is where Chuck and Norris will end up. And um, I finally found a material suitable enough for the back. Now, it is super hard, um, very well stuck on. We've just got to put some more pot rivets down the side so they can't squish in behind here. Um, get a roof on it, obviously, and a floor on it. And then sort out the decorations. So I ended up going with like a cement sheet on the back there. So um, <sighs> I don't know whether or not I'm just gonna paint it. I have got some like black pond paint, which I could just paint the um, the background or yeah, we'll, we'll see where we go. I don't know, we'll figure it out eventually. Do, 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 do. But today's video is gonna be more car related because I am gonna go do some car stuff with my friends because we need to. For those of you who don't know, uh, this car is the family territory. I have a territory and we have a bush bashing territory. Uh, but this territory is having gear problems, well gearbox problems. It has uh, first and third, no second and no fourth. Uh, we did an oil change on it not that long ago to try and see if we could fix the problem and it didn't fix the problem at all. We just found metal shavings inside the um, bottom of the gearbox. So this gearbox is completely shot so we're going to have to go pick up the other gearbox. Um, one of the gearbox I've been storing at my mum's house for a certain situation like this. And then um, and then we're going to the workshop and we're going to Put, swap the gearboxes over. So today is going to be swapping gearboxes in a territory. Yay! Then I'm pushing the whole temperature past 558 degrees. It doesn't even get to 300. So I'll see you guys uh, at me mum's house and we'll take the gearbox off the motor that I have there. And then we'll go to the workshop and swap the gearboxes over. And then hopefully we have some time to do some other stuff today. So unfortunately again, my microphone on my buddy camera did not work. So I missed out on a lot of footage of explaining what we did and what we were going to do. We did run into a few problems the first day and there was a whole video recorded about explaining what happened, um, well, what we thought would happen, which turned out today we found out that that was not the case. So I'm probably going to have to look a little bit more into the microphone, sort it out so this stops happening because I'm absolutely sick of having videos of me talking with no actual sound. So yeah so this was the whole video that i was explaining what had happened we had gone way over our time and we unfortunately got everything back together so we thought and went to start the car and the starter motor did not want to start the car but it seemed like the motor had seized and we just gave up it was getting a bit late it was i think about 7 30 at this time and um, we thought it was the jam starter motor, but it turns out the next day we found out what it was. So yesterday when we went home, um, we thought the starter motor had jammed. Turns out uh, I didn't do one of these bolts up properly, and it was jamming on the motor. I don't know if you can see it from there. No, you can't. And again, right there, the microphone cut out again and we lost the explaining that that bolt there was uh, 
crunching up against the gearbox and not allowing the motor to turn over. That was the problem. So we solved all the problems. Now we just got to yeah, fix this rear there. seal back up here because it was uh, pushed together with some rubber hosing so it wouldn't leak. But um, now, oh, once yeah. this goes in, and this goes back up here. Yeah, that's what I think. It should down. be good. In the split going. Oh, there it is. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, God. <laughs> we made it home. The gearbox works, mint. Um, we brought a pump bottle for $30 and it lasted 10 seconds to get the oil into the gearbox. So I was sort of salty, very grumpy. I didn't film too much of the actual car stuff, um, mainly because I just get so grumpy and uh, crack the shits and just cannot be stuffed filming because I'm just swearing at cars. So yeah, sorry this video was a bit of a weird one, but I guess for anyone that's interested what? and seeing what else I do with my life, sometimes I fix cars, sometimes I fix other people's cars, sometimes I fix my cars, I don't know. I'm over it. It was a big job that shouldn't have been as big as it was. There was a few little mishaps, but it worked out in the end. So the gearbox is working fine and it's got more gears than it did before as i said it had bloody first and third and now it has all four of them and uh before, when we brought the car it had troubles reversing um now it doesn't have troubles so the next uh thing to do will be load up the trailer and reverse it and see if it can reverse the trailer without having any problems because i think what we came to the conclusion was is that it was uh the clutches were slipping inside the auto gearbox and um, so when it was in reverse the clutches were just slipping together so um, oh shit sorry Coda but yeah that's the video sorry about the messy hair and the messy everything I'm dirty I'm gonna go have a shower and then um, I think we're gonna go pick up something later that I probably shouldn't be picking up but whatever Alright guys, take it easy, stay awesome, and remember you can't fail if you try. See you later.